In my example file here, let's say I have a toy store where I sell these robots, and the red robots aren't really selling very well, so I'm going to offer them at a big discount. I created an animation with the new price in a big star that flies in and covers up the old price. I can see that by going to the EPUB interactivity preview panel and previewing the animation. But I want that price to draw even more attention to itself by pulsing after it slides into place. All I have to do is create a second object that's invisible, with no stroke and no fill, and group it with the star. Then I can apply the second animation to the group and get the effect that I want. So if I select my star and look in the animation panel, I can see that currently it's set to fly in from the right on page click. Now to apply the second animation, I have to create my invisible object. So I'll grab the rectangle frame tool and I'll just draw a little rectangle next to my star. I'll select both the rectangle and the star and group them. And in the animation panel, I can see that now I have a group selected and from the preset menu, I'll choose pulse. I'll turn off the on page load event and instead I'll choose on page click, which is the same as what I applied to the star. And back in the preview panel, I'll press the stop button to clear the old preview and the play button to create a new one and preview my new effect. I can also use the timing panel to further refine my animation effect. In the panel, I could select both of my animations and click this button to make them play together, or I could add a delay to the second animation to space them out. In this case, I'll select the group animation and add a one second delay. That way the pulse won't start until one second after the star is done flying in from the right.